What would be reasons not to invest in a small company that has great leadership, talented workers and an amazing product, for example Apple, Amazon, Microsoft all fulfilled these checkmarks when they were small companies. People who had invested in them during the phase where they were no longer obscure, but still smallish companies would still have made anywhere from 200 1,000 plus percent returns off of their initial investments, I believe Tesla is also in that same stage. No longer obscure, but they're still a pretty small company that's not listed in the S&P 500. So far they have achieved one of their primary business goals, which is to double in size every 18 months. They went from one small factory, to one small one and one gigafactory in Nevada. They added a second gigafactory in China, doubling to two gigafactories in 18 months. They're building one more in Germany and another in the USA, so they'll soon go from two gigafactories to four. Each gigafactory can be doubled or even tripled in size. The design to make that possible, https colon slash slash qr dot air slash would be a reason not to invest invest in Tesla, or any similar small-sized companies that have these same attributes. What would be a reason not to invest in Tesla, or any similar small-sized companies that have these same attributes? A big, big, big reason not to invest in such a company is that its stock may be overvalued already. I think a lot of people have the misconception that a stock's price reflects the company's net assets, and so if a company doubles in size, its stock price will double, too. That's not true at all. A stock's price reflects what investors think the stock is worth. This means that if, say, investors are expecting a company to double in size, and it does double in size, then on average, the stock price will go up by 0%. It'll just stay flat. If investors are expecting it to triple in size and it merely doubles in size, the stock price should go down by 33%. So, if you're trying to beat the market by picking stocks, you absolutely have to look at the stock price and compare that to how much the stock is actually worth. 